The dementia, cognitive issues, I think what we discussed about enough for you for your further reading. And I'm thinking all of you, those who took part in the discussion again, and we like to go to the another topic now of the fall. Very important issues of the fall. And you know that some of your relative might have fallen and fractured. And patient died for the complication of the fracture. Patient died for the complication of the brain hemorrhage. So it is also another one. It is the indirectly we said that instability, false. So now come to the issue. And when we evaluate the patients of fall in the elderly, uh, for the assessment, we use one clinical examination test. It is called get up and go test. And it is ex de described in the below. And all of you go through this. Just to say the patient, please can you stand for me and walk around 3 meter, 10 feet and turn and come back. You can imagine now that what problem you may identify. Can patient stand well immediately and start walking immediately? What is the, the posture during walking? You see some bending forward issues are there. The gait will be the shuffling gait. Hands are moving or not. Patient can turn back well or not. And how many time patient is taking to come back? Everything will give many, many informations. It is called get up and go test. Another one, another name is a timed get up. Timed means uh, it should be uh, within 13 seconds patient finish this cycle. And if patient have more than 13 or equal 13 seconds, patient may have increased risk of fall. I hope you will not forget it for the fall assessment. And these are some slogans rather to say to stop the falling, they develop the mnemonic. So you will read by yourself, stop falling. The mnemonic is also stop falling. Some social groups are there. They are highlighting this thing to address for preventing the fall. And in the household, and it is your job as a general physician that the measure to decrease the risk of fall and damage from falling. So the posture, postural hypertension, these are the medical issues including the environmental hazards, okay, plus some uh, guidance if patient already fallen, what he or she can do. So this is a primary healthcare team. There should be connection and social service to be connected. Alarm system. If I told you that patient might be alone, I think all of you know in all the societies, the elderly patient become lonely. So how to get the help? we should explain to the patient and give the address for a rescue team also it is said the rescue team that means so the patient fallen down on the floor who will look after nobody is there so nowadays there is a digital system everybody have the mobile phone cellular phone and the patient can call to the assist the rescue team immediately response team acute response team or other whatever the name okay and if any disease is there also Suppose Parkinson's disease or others, neuromuscular or the stroke patient. Patient needs the rehabilitation and the physiotherapy, everything. So including the, I just highlight, you see the vision also we need to explore that. Is there any vision problem? Postural hypertension, never forget. Even in your OSCE exam in future also, when you deal an elderly patient, postural hypertension is one important issue to evaluate. So now, again, uh, may we request Dr. Rashid, please, to start to go through. And I'm requesting all of us who didn't talk, please, uh, the spare few time to be with us, doctor, in interaction. Please, Dr. Rashid. A 43-year-old, sorry. Yes, you are right. 43-year-old gentleman. A 43-year-old gentleman presents complaining episodic vertigo that occurs with turning his head. His symptoms are particularly bad when he turns over in bed. Yes. He reports that the episodes of vertigo last several seconds at a time. He is otherwise well. Examination reveals normal. Uh, Dick's hull pike uh, 
testing is positive, provoking uh, rotatory vertigo and nystigmus. Which of the following uh, ph pharmacological approach is most appropriate? What is the diagnosis, Dr. Rashid? Benign positional paroxysmal vertigo. The description in a manner that everybody can say this is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. So what is the pharmacologic treatment? Beta is thin. Okay. Dr. Ras is saying nothing. No idea. Hmm. Dr. Roman get lost. No idea. Okay. We are the doctor. We have always what is a fascination to give the medicine. Dr. Hin, are you surprised? No. Because you are giving the medicine for all vertigo patients. No. No? Refer. Refer for... Refer. Uh... Why will you refer doctor is benign positional vertigo if you are con not confused? If you are confident, explain. Actually, further thing not to be done if the benign positional vertigo. If you go through the book, you will understand what to be done. The other management issues also. There are now some non-pharmacologic advice and it is called the Apple's maneuver. Okay? You refer yes, for the management, not for diagnosis or other planning. You can plan by yourself. You can plan by yourself. And for further evaluation, yes, to take some input from the fall clinic. But patient actually not falling. Patient have the vertigo. Is about to fall. Risk of fall is there. So benign positional vertigo, the core message is the last several seconds. That is, we are dealing now the case of vertigo and episodic coming and going, especially by turning the head. Several seconds and turning that. I am just giving one the highlight, doctor, that the vertigo that occurs with the turning heads, this is the position. I think it's now better for your better the understanding. The whole pack test is done, but there are many other messages also. Many other messages also. So this is the position. And it will confuse you as postural hypotension, doctor, because patient complaining that he has the feeling of vertigo when he wakes up from the bed. This is another typical description for postural hypotension. But if you take detailed history, if you ask that this, is there any uh, change of your position which uh, the provoke this vertigo or the feeling of the rotation, then patient can tell, yes, doctor, if I turn my head to the right or left, then I feel it. This is the positional vertigo. So dizziness and vertigo is a very common topic, doctor, until your OSCE exam. Remember. Remember. So no treatment needed. Is it important? Technical thing, though, no treatment needed. Maybe all most of the time it is the correct answer. If you don't know the answer, it's a technical thing, but we shouldn't uh, believe on that always. We do nothing. Maybe fascination that this may be the answer. But the diagnosis is benign positional and, and it is found that the medicine actually is not helpful, though we are giving beta histine and other. There is no evidence base. So now after Dr. Rashid, who will read it? Dr. Hain, please. Dr. Hain, still you are in trouble. So who will else to read, doctor? Please, anyone? Yeah, Dr. Rashid, please. Women present to the surgery with two weeks dizziness she rolls over in bed she says uh, it feel like a room is uh, spinning around her examination of her ears and cranial nerve is unremarkable given the likely diagnosis benign uh, paroxysmal uh, paroxysmal uh, positional vertigo the most appropriate management so before you are giving no medicines but what we can do now if, if so I think already we, we discussed the answer maybe, right? Apple's maneuver. And all of you to see the Apple's maneuver in the video, Dr. YouTube. Eh? Very easy. You can teach your patient apply, apply maneuver. So there are two words. One is the Dick's Halpike test. Another one is the Apple maneuver. It may confuse. I think uh, some of you may remember that the we discussed in the recall classes. What is the Apple's maneuver? 
it is a management and the date fall pack test is the diagnostic test it is a management don't be confused thanking you doctor and if we explore evaluate the vertigo many ways of evaluation associated other symptom but if you evaluate explore the vertigo itself by asking the duration of the episode also will be helpful uh, i hope i will show you maybe in the other way even then i can tell you this this benign positional vertigo is of only seconds it is said as seconds to minutes seconds to minute uh, another disease is the many years disease many years so maybe we discuss we will discuss the neurology or the ent disease even then uh, the many years is the m m means minute to hours uh, another disease is the labyrinthitis l labyrinth l l means longer maybe days is clear to you doctor what i said benign positional is very short duration of the second many years is m for m minute to hours and the labyrinthitis is l for l is a long prolonged persistent is the that means the persistent vertigo is by the labyrinth that is there may be other associated features the the problem of the hearing tinnitus heavy feeling in the ear heavy feeling or painful feeling in the ear is a many years disease there is a previous history of the viral disease there are some other features i'm just telling that the duration of the episode can give us clue of diagnosis so this up to that is a break time i hope that you don't need any break time in the meantime if you want you can take your drink gahwa other so for a while but we can uh, recapitulate also what we have discussed before if any query doctor if you have Please, up to this we discussed. Anyone, please? So we discuss what? If you recapitulate, Dr. Uh, Dr. Rashad, please, what we discussed? Can you give an idea within one minute? Dr. Rashad. Sir, sorry, sorry, I can't hear you. What we discussed until now, just recapitulate something give some idea okay sir uh, acute confessional state and chronic confessional state uh, delirium okay. and dementia good uh, benign positional uh, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo okay, very recent topic any other and uh, uh, did uh, low body dementia yes the lewy body dementia may be auditory or olfactory or even tactile hallucination different types of hallucination maybe dr hind asked about the type of hallucination it is not very specific one type of hallucination multiple hallucination if you are touch tactile dr hind what is the example of tactile hallucination feeling of some ants moving over the body ants dr what is the ants in your arabic word dr hind and a and t some small animal doctor moving on the skin feeling of that uh, yes this is called tactile hallucination can you tell in arabic doctor to make it clear tactile touching and what is ant doctor in arabic <laughs> i'm sorry and me and me maybe i think all of other colleague understood well now moving something this is a tactile hallucination so hallucination is actually the uh, perception of sensation though there is no stimulus it is called the hallucination